Hello everyone, uh, Jody Heath here from SouthernProfit.com. I uh, here uh, to show you my solution to this duplicate note problem uh, that's been affecting a lot of people. I uh, don't know if this solution is going to fix your problem, but it definitely fixed mine. So back in just a little background, back in April of this year, I bought you know one of these you know. $400, $500 printers, uh, scan snaps printers, so I could scan everything into Evernote, get rid of all my paper clutter and all that stuff, you know, and make things easier to find. The problem was every time I scanned something, I got duplicate notes, sometimes four or five of them. You know, so I found this thread here, this Evernote thread, back in April as well, and, you know, it's I saw it had been going on since December of 2014 when this guy started the thread. So I came in, uh, chimed in around, um, yeah, about April 19th. I uh, told them, you know, hey, I'm getting the same problem. All my software is up to date. You know, fix it. You know, I mean, I'm, I got a brand new scanner here. Um, and, um, you know, no feedback yet. Um, and let's see what we got here. Um, and nothing there. And then I guess Nancy chimed in. Seems like she's one of the official Evernote support people. I don't know. But it says, you know, thank you for continuing this report. Um, we'll uh, we'll continue and try and dig in. But the issue is difficult to track down. If folks have consistent ways to reproduce this, please flag it with us. Okay, I don't know what flag it means, but I responded to her and said, hey. I'm still having the same problem. I can reproduce it every time. Okay. And she responds back. I'll follow up with the scan team and um, to see if this is a known issue. Okay. So a little hopeful. Maybe they're going to find a solution or maybe touch base back with me and I can give them an error report or something. Okay. So let's go on to the next page. Um, she seems to kind of forget that we we had made contact. Um, still same same stuff here. We continue to try our best to reduce these cases. That tells me nothing. So today, um, out of frustration, I put another thread up. Uh, came back, replied, um, you know, blah blah. This thing was started in December. You know, I touched base in April. No response yet. You know, blah, blah. Sounds like Evernote doesn't really care about the issue, basically. So, I'm frustrated. So, you know, just goes to show you, uh, you know, out of frustration, sometimes, you know, you get solutions. So, uh, I went back to my Evernote and tried to figure it out myself, which is probably what I should have done the first time. Um, so, I'm going to pull that screen up here, and I'll, I'll show you what I figured out, at least, is what's causing my issue. So, I'm going to reach over here, since this is a screen share... You're not gonna see it, but I'm just gonna reach over and I'm gonna run a um, I'm gonna run a receipt through my scanner, and you can see what I was getting. All right, so you see it popping up here, and bam, I got two copies of the same receipt. This is a good scenario. There were times when I'd get four, five, six, and I would get these INI files that would pop up. Um, no answer why. So, finally figured out why today, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what was going on with at least on my end. Uh, so, if you go up here to Tools, go to Import Folders. I had you know I went through all the literature, and I you know I was trying to be real careful when I set this stuff up, and it looks like I went one or two steps too far. Um, so basically, I have when I when I hit Scan um, on my computer. Um, I don't, I don't have to go into, I keep this unchecked, so it happens automatic, I don't go, have to go in there each time and say, hey, send it to Evernote or send it to a file, you know, it just happens automatically. But I have it saving to this folder, and, you know, what I had envisioned was, is that I would scan things to a folder, they would automatically appear in Evernote, and then if I drag something into that folder later on, well, it would also end up in Evernote which it did. Problem was I was getting two copies. So basically what I'd done is I'd I'd selected 
uh, this folder, which is um, one of my you know my main Evernote folder on my computer, where I where, where I scan everything into, I'd, I'd select it to basically sync with Evernote. Um, so basically, if I scan something, and you know I scan something, it would go to this folder. You know, it would also go to Evernote. What I didn't realize is it was basically two different operations because one operation was it scanned it directly to Evernote. The second operation was it scanned it to my folder. That folder was also syncing with Evernote and it also uploaded a copy. Okay, so the simple solution of this was basically just to, uh, well, let's see if I can get out of here, is just to click on this folder and remove it. Um, so you basically you don't want you don't want the same folder that you scan your Evernote documents to to be one of your import folders uh, or you're gonna have duplicate notes so what you fix that is just uh, remove it okay um, and, and there's another there's a couple other ways to, to kind of work around that but I'm gonna go ahead and delete this um, I'm gonna delete these two notes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna run that sheet again through here again, and let's see if it gives me one or two copies. And voila, there it is, just one copy of the note. Um, now there there's two or three workarounds for the same problem. Um, you know, I'm I'm gonna just gonna open up my my uh, settings here. For my scan snap, um, I'm using a Fujitsu uh, scan snap. It looks like IX500 scanner. Um, but if you see, basically, I was um, whenever I save, basically, you come in here, and when you scan something, you're telling you're telling your scan snap application what to do with the file. So under application, I'm saying send it straight to Evernote. I could actually just say don't do anything with it. Um, I could say, hey, just save it to a certain folder, okay? And then I could come back in here uh, under import, and I could say, hey, import that folder. It would do the same exact thing. Um, it would give me one copy, which is what I want. But I, I'm, I'm going to use it kind of the way it's in, it was intended. Um, and come back in here and let me double click this and it's being stubborn there we go uh, and by the way you know, I keep this unchecked so I don't have to go to this screen every time I scan something um, so basically what I have is the application scan to Evernote um, the save folder just the original save folder I always had I'm just I'm no longer importing it in the separate import settings okay um, and, and it works fine. Um, the um, you know, as far as a workaround for like dragging and drop files, you, you just you pretty much need to to just have a uh, a separate folder uh, if you want something. So let's say you want to have a folder where you know if you drag and drop a file, it ends up in Evernote. Okay. Um, so basically, I created a new folder here. Um, called it like drag and drop. Um, I went into the tools uh, import folder and um, basically just clicked add, put it in here, um, and you know also created the same name. Well, getting ahead of myself. So basically, I, I basically created a folder on my computer uh, called drag and drop or something. Then I came over here under Evernote clicked same thing create notebook and I called it um, drag and drop basically okay um, and then um, and went here uh, tools import um, and then add went to found the folder on my computer and then I clicked here which was the drag and drop basically so um, you got to sync it uh, between your computer and between the folder in Evernote, basically. Um, if that's clear as mud. Um, so, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to basically I'm just going to drag a file from any folder into this drag and drop, and I'll show you what happens. Um, 
So this is basically a synchronized folder from my computer to Evernote. So anything I drag and drop is going to end up in this folder. Anything I scan is going to end up in this folder. The beauty of it is, just like it was intended, I'm only going to get one copy. Okay, which kind of fixed my problem. Like I said, there's there's two or three different workarounds uh, to do this, but I think that's probably the best solution um, right there. Uh, so the the basic thing is go to tools, go to import, and make sure that you're not syncing the same folder that you're scanning things to because you're going to get two copies. And that's pretty much it. Um, so uh, from southernprofit.com, my name is Jody Heath. Um, hope this helps you out some. Have a good one.